So now we know how to read from the analog ports, yeah, and then we display display the values in the serial monitoring, the senior serial monitor. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but now we need to convert actually we need to convert this analog ports into the value that can be read by the PWM because the PWM is basically uh, only in 8 bits uh, 255 uh, therefore we need to change this value and how to change this value So I show you the simple way first uh, as example so that you know how to do this change, uh, this conversion, which again the same coding, just edit from the same coding. After we read the uh, analog ports here, what we can do, we can, uh, for example, if you want to change into the percentage value first or maybe voltage, but I I change uh, I show you on changing to percentage value so let's say uh, we don't want in uh, in a floating number in points so we just define in integer if you don't want if you need this uh, points uh, for example uh, then you use float or you use double but now because i just want a round number therefore i just use in here integer so again, if you want to know what kind of uh, uh, variables, uh, the, the variables that you need to use and what kind of definition of that variables, you can refer back to the nodes or refer back to the uh, C programming class. So now it is integer. So let's say we change into percentage, uh, percentage, which is uh, equals to we want to map the value from the analog read or from the analog pause so we map it into the percentage value so we map this value from the analog pause which is zero start from zero until 1023 uh, because we have 1000 total 1024 so meaning that 1000 23 plus 0 is 1024 uh, so now it start from 0 to 1023 which this value here will be mapped to another value in percentage uh, the value 0 will be mapped to 0 and the value 1024 we map into 100% yeah, so that's it yeah. so that is the conversion to percentage so that is how you convert a linear conversion yeah. so if you have any sensors analog sensors yeah, there are a lot of you asking me uh, which uh, is analog sensor and which is digital sensor so basically analog sensor have different value different values of inputs it gives meaning that there will be a decimal places uh, uh, like the temperature sensor for example yeah? so it goes from 0 degree 21.6 37.7 and so on until 100 so because of that because there are various values that's why we call it as analog sensor compared to digital sensors like the PIR passive infrared sensor which it only detect if there is a motion is there is a human inside there it automatically detect as high it will trigger high and that's why uh, it only give only high and low and if it is only give high and low there is digital sensor and this is the difference between uh, analog sensor 
and digital sensor if you still confused and if you have temperature sensor you want to output the degree celsius in here if you have distance sensor you want to uh, change it into meter if you want to if you have a uh, speed sensor into uh, kilometer a meter per second for example air quality sensor ph sensor into ph air quality sensor into ppm and so on so you will change it here as long as it is linear but if it is not linear you cannot use this map you need to use the other the the, the formulas uh, the respective formulas for that sensor which you can uh, refer back to its uh, their own data sheets uh, so this is only for for linear mapping only all right so after you uh, get this what we can add one more line here yeah so again one more line here let's say we put it uh, put a, a name first uh, uh, so that we know uh, what kind of reading it is uh, so we put here serial because we want to again we want to print it in our serial monitor serial print so if it is statement make sure you put this uh, this symbols here yeah so make sure you put that and then you let's say the analog uh, read analog read uh, information and then space which then after this uh, print this uh, statements here it will print the value uh, and then at the same time it will goes to the we don't go to the next line yet so that's why i just use serial print there and then we print the next value which is serial again dot print uh, which is the another statement uh, in percentage percentage again make, don't forget this quotes and then semicolon yeah uh, and also we continue with the next line which we want to display the we want to display the value of the percent so again the values of the variable don't need this uh, quotes but for only for the statements that we need to the, to uh, use these quotes here so again don't forget these semicolons and finally serial dot since we uh, now we display in percentage so we mean that we need to uh, put one more the symbol of percentage that's it yeah that's it if let's say you put here you want to convert into boots five boots for example so this is voltage so again here you just change to a v if this is for ppm so this is put here ppm if this is degree celsius so they put here celsius and so on as simple as that and then it will if we stop here it will everything will be displayed in one line so we need to make sure the next value goes to the second line the next value goes to the third line and so on and that's why the end of this make sure you put the ln print line okay, so that the next value will go to the next line so that's it uh, this is basically how the coding of the conversion where here i use print and some parts i use print line where i use print if i want to print everything in one single line and then the next value i need to display in the next line that's why i use and here and then the mapping or the, the conversion value yeah. so now let's test this coding as usual just upload it and after it is done compiling open serial monitor so now you see here it has that values that yeah. so if i change this potential meter as usual 
so it leaves it increase increase so I reduce the value one by one uh, as you can see here the percentage is dropping and dropping and dropping until finally reach zero percent so that's it uh, and this is how you go into display or you you want to troubleshoot your coding for example if you want to know whether the real value that you read from the analog a pause is similar to those uh, what which values of the outputs so here is how you uh, see it. so let's say you want to make it more nicer so basically we can try to represent the value just now into a table format uh, now uh, let's adding some more lines to make it much more nice view uh, which we can add uh, another lines for example at this part here before the void uh, before the uh, values there we can add a uh, print line as uh, serial dot print line so let's say we just display everything in table format so that it looks nice so new line uh, again backslash n is new line uh, so basically this is a lot of coding I, I want to show you here so if you never know how to use it or forget about this you can try to follow this although it seems boring uh, because we just playing around with display uh, but again because it has a lot of coding here so if we can try to practice to improve our coding skills so let's say this is we want to know which analog pin is currently reading analog pin and then we go to the next step because this is in table so as usual to go to the next step tap space so just uh, use backslash t here uh, backslash n for the new line backslash t for the new tab and then the raw value the original value read from the uh from this potentiometer and then another tab yeah and then it will display the percentage value so now it should become much more nicer so the percentage percentage value so this is for the first row and then for the next row we print serial print line again print line one more line uh, which is because we have table we have the header so we must have a line so just print line uh, just print a line on the uh, line okay settle that's it yeah uh, as simple as that uh, uh, just uh, as long as you want all right so that's it for the table uh, the header line and then we don't want to have the table to be so long so meaning that we can uh, limit it so to limit it as usual we can use for loop here uh, just use for loop here uh, for example you have as usual just maybe to make it easier just using i as as our variable and then semicolon and then maybe we just want to have 10 columns so 10 column meaning that the maximum i is maximum i is only 10 and then we uh, we increase the lines one by one yeah or the, the rows one by one i plus plus so again here is the four statement or the four loops inside here uh, that, so we can print we can copy this all into this for loop here yeah, just cut it and then insert it in for loop so uh, let's okay so now uh, analog values is basically analog read from the potentiometer and then we have the in percent which we map it again the same coding but instead of we display like this uh, so this part here can be changed into 
that's why i just change this one here because we want to display into table format so meaning that this part here we can remove because we already have this uh, header there so we can change it into the ports value which is the a5 because the first is the analog pins so analog pins our analog pins is a5 and then uh, go to the next step and then go to another tab so to uh, tap two times before it display the value uh, so now meaning that a5 and then the raw value the raw value here and then this raw value will also tap uh, double tap before it goes to the next columns which means that just print tap only yeah. and then percentage value okay because the percentage header is already there so we can remove this uh, so just remove these lines here so now print percentage and the uh, percent value uh, similar like before and then delay 1000 uh, before the next the code repeating so it will increase in case it will uh, add the columns at the row until 10 row and then it will return back the void loop after 10 row it will return back the value the, the for loop and we will start to display back this uh, header here so let's test this coding okay so done compiling as usual open your serial monitor uh, so compare this code with whatever is showing here so now analog pin tap raw value tap percentage uh, so this is and then it goes to this for loop it will display 10 times uh, the a5 tap do a double tap and then the values of the uh, analog read and then the value of the percentage okay so just after 10 times then it will repeat from the beginning again it will show the header again so now let's test this let's see what happens to the value right now it changing it increase increase and increase after 10 values it goes to the next table increase until the maximum which is 100 percent so that's it yeah. that's it uh, this is if you want to format it so that it can show the data clearly yeah, if you want to organize it if you don't have lcd for example you want you can display everything in this serial monitor here uh, as neat as possible so again in this course here there are several new uh, informations here for those who already forgot or no don't know how to use this backslash t the backslash n yeah. so this is how you use it and one more thing eh, for before we end this video uh, just a little bit uh, informations about this serial monitor if you look down here there are several uh, informations here and let's say nothing is displayed or it is displayed incorrectly so meaning that the board rate maybe is different because you mistakenly change it and therefore you can change it down here uh, make sure it is similar to what you you tell in the void setup so the void setup uh, in this course is 9600 and therefore it must be the same thing 9600 and if you want to clear everything you can just uh, click this clear output uh, so uh, i think that's it for uh, this time around uh, so as usual if you have problems if you uh, confused if you don't understand any parts so as you you, you may ask me uh, please ask me don't be shy uh, just ask privately or in the group message anywhere yeah, or just comment down below uh, don't worry I will, I will uh, reply to your comment I will answer it and as usual if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe uh, 
uh, don't forget to subscribe and that's it for me uh, i'm ikhwan may god bless you assalamualaikum